So I'm going to do the Serve Safe Basics presentation in three separate videos uh, just to kind of break it up and divide it. So when we're talking about Serve Safe, we're talking about preventing foodborne illness. And foodborne illness is a disease transmitted to people through food. It's almost always preventable. And the hazards in the food can come from lots of different sources and then be transferred by humans to the food. It can also come from the food and not handling it properly. So there are three types of hazards. So hazards create a risk and there are biological, chemical, and physical that can be present in food that can make people sick. The biological hazards generally cannot be seen or smelled or tasted. There are four types of biological hazards, bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi. These are known as pathogens. Sometimes these are harmless. There are types of bacteria, types of fungi that exist in our world and they don't cause us harm, but many of them can cause illness. And these are located everywhere. There are chemical hazards. So when you use chemicals to clean or sanitize or polish in a restaurant or around food service, you have to be very careful to keep it away from food and to use it properly. If you overuse chemicals, then you can cause a hazard and make people sick. An example of this, some people like to put bleach into the dishwater when they wash dishes. They say that this kills the germs. Essentially, your soap kills the germs. People that, are, people that have lived in the country or they use well water or they've been in areas where the water is not treated like in the city, they might have needed bleach to kill parasites in, or biological contaminants in the water. Ultimately, you don't really need to put bleach into your water. If you want to do so, however, make sure that you are only using about one capful in a sink. If you're just pouring bleach and you're not measuring, and you could be using a half a cup, you could make people sick and that bleach can stay on your, on your dishes. There are also physical hazards. These are things that you can actually see. There's two types of physical hazards natural ones which occur in the food but we don't really want to eat them and they probably are not going to hurt you like bones that are left in fish or a little bit of a fruit pit uh, if you bite into something kind of hard it was part of the food not supposed to be there you're probably going to be okay there can also be accident or neglect physical hazards so these are things that are not part of the food and they get put into the food um, when we're preparing it or serving it. Metal shavings off the side of a can, that's an example. Um, staples off of a box or part of packaging, uh, dirt or glass, these objects fall into the food and then they can cause acts and they can cause people to get sick or even cause some injury internally. Uh, a bandage falling into food, some jewelry, um, like the, the jewel or the jewelry itself falling into food. Uh, these could be um, these could be physical hazards. Hair is considered a physical hazard 